Yes, I think Ingenuity has landed on a sand dune. And here is why. Disclaimer, during my context narration, you'll be enjoying random pictures from the Ingenuity helicopter, just to get into the mood. And because the chopper takes 10 pictures every flight, you can enjoy the show for quite a long time. But first, let's start with some context. Ingenuity is a tiny 1.8 kg technology demonstration. Helicopter sent to Mars under the belly of a huge 1 metric ton rover monster mission. And I stress the word demonstration for a reason. Helicopter was tucked under the belly of the rover Perseverance. Then it separated and dropped dead on the first flight. No, just kidding. It's fine, the helicopter just finished its 12th flight. I can't believe it has been already 12 flights. Just unbelievable. But this time it might be its last. <laughs> because it landed on a sand dune. Before we go into the detail, let's get to know where all the chess pieces on the chessboard are. Here's the rover and white lines show its route on Mars, while yellow lines represent the helicopter. Side note, the hero of this video is not the rover. Here it is only for context. In its 11th flight, the helicopter flew northwest and landed somewhere here. It was taking pictures backwards, opposite to the direction of flight. I think I know why this time it was taking pictures backwards, because then it can take pictures of Perseverance rover, which at this point is down the hill. Now the 12th flight, which took place on August 16th, or Sol 174, is a bit different, as it lands onto the same location it started from. We don't have all the pictures from 12th flight, we only have the last 6 of them in landing. But that's enough to draw some conclusions. Now compare these landings to previous flights. Pay close attention to shadows of the rotors of the previous landings. The shadows are not distorted. They are the same size and length. Which means that the surface of the landing site is smooth and even. And now let's see the last, 12th landing. From the start we see that the shadow is not in the center, not even close. But this could be the sun casting long shadows as the chopper is landing on a sloped hill. But when it lands, the shadow distortions become clear. When I saw these distortions, I embarked on a journey to figure out where exactly the chopper landed. At my disposal, I had high quality pictures from the 11th flight which might have captured the 12th flight landing site. And after comparing the new low resolution pictures with the high resolution color pictures from the previous flight, I've noticed this bow shaped dip in the sand. It turns out the previous flight took two color pictures of the dune where Ingenuity just landed. Here you can see the dip in the sand. Yay! These two pictures help me to pinpoint the chopper's current position on the map. Here it is, and as you can see, it's a dune. But why did the helicopter not avoid it? And now we have come back full circle. Remember the word demonstration? And because it's a demonstration technology, its onboard navigation systems and computers can only see flat surfaces. It was designed only to avoid landing on a boulder. So during the landing the computer on board was not designed to see the difference between smooth surface and a sand dune. It saw, with its navigation camera, no rug zone and decided to land, to everyone's disappointment, on a sand dune. So what is so terribly bad about landing on a dune? Well, uh, hopefully nothing. But take a look how rovers on Mars, on previous occasions, dealt with the sand. Yeah, not good. And those rovers are monsters, behemoths. 
but with the chopper we're dealing with 1.8 kilogram cat. No, not even a cat, a big kitten. At any point it can fall from the slope and the rotors can get stuck in the sand. And if it manages to take off next time, it might cover itself and its solar panels with dust. And that's the end game. Millions of things can go wrong when dealing with sand. However, there is a glimmer of hope. First, it might not tip over from the sand dune. The chopper showed its resilience and tenacity before. It might show it again. And second of all, the color camera on board has a wide field of view and is always directed onto the horizon. And if we're lucky and it got stuck while looking down the hill, then we might get a great high definition time lapse from a hill for the duration of the mission, which might even take a decade. We might see huge dust storms CO2 clouds or weather patterns. We might even see something we didn't expect, a meteorite strike. The shifts in the position of ingenuity on the slope might give us a clue of how safe those slopes are for the helicopter. We don't know. And that is great. So good luck ingenuity. Your creators thought you'll be flying over flat surfaces you prove them wrong. They planned 4-5 flights and now it's 12th. They planned a maximum range of 400 meters, but you did more than 600. It is you who should have been called Perseverance. <laughs>